I've been working on this client photo heavy website and as you can see here the files in the Figma file you see that I'm really going to be working with a lot of images and for example this is how the home page should look like of course with a few changes and this is what I have already built in WordPress right over here please don't judge me I'm not yet even 20% through the project but I wanted to make this video and share with you basically how you can work with a website that has a lot of images so this is what I have already built at the moment so this is like the home page and then when we look here at the at the portfolio page right over here you can see that it's coming out pretty nice these are all images from the photographer and as you can see there are a lot of images that I have to work with so some of these you can browse in a light box and you see really really clean images but the question is how are we going to handle the optimization compression and to serve these images on the website without causing a lot of stress on the server but also delivering the website in super high speeds and that is how i came across a plugin called compress x before we go into even knowing what compress x does you want to make sure that once you create your website and you have it hosted that it serves the best possible formats and the most light format to your website visitor without even you thinking about it and if it does it even for free even better now that is what compress x is doing at the moment so when you look here in my media library you said that i'm going to have a lot of images and for example the images are going to be this big 2000 pixels wide and 1 mb size kind of images because like on a photographer images, you want to show the most possible highest quality of the image. And now the thing is with Compress X, it will enable you to compress and convert and optimize images from JPG and PNGs into the best possible formats, which is WebP and AVIF. I hope I say it right. And AVIF is one of the most modern image formats and one that can really go so light without losing any of the quality of the images. And that is what I really loved about the fact that Compress X offers us that image format to have it even compressed in WordPress for free. So for instance, this image is 2,500 pixels in the width and originally it is 450 kbs. But as you can see, this image has been compressed to a WebP image file and an AVIF image file. Now that means that on your website, you're going to have a JPG image, which is the original image. And then you have a WebP image and then an AVIF image. Now what Compress X is going to do is that in, when a website visitor visits your website, depending on the browser that they're using, Compress X is going to serve the most light image format to them. And this means that you're saving on server resources and, of course, you know, the response of your website to your website visitors. Now, the question is, how does it do all this? Now, that will take us into how to get started with Compress X. Now, when you come here to plugins, you will search for add a new plugin and then you'll say, look up for Compress X. And right over here, it will show up as AVIF. WebP Converter by Compress X. And the beauty is that Compress X is actually coming from the awesome team from WPVV, the makers of the WPVV Backup and Migration plugin. It's actually a popular plugin with over 700,000 active installs, I think, around there. Now, once you install and activate this plugin, it will show up here in the WordPress menu as Compress X. Once you click over there, it takes you to the settings page. Now, there are a few things that you want to make sure that you set up or you get correct from the word go. One is the library to process images. So basically these are PHP image optimization formats that you can choose from. And if you don't really understand which one to select over here, please contact your web host. But basically GD is a PHP extension for handling image optimizations. It may be slightly faster at processing large images, but supports fewer image formats. And then ImageGeek is another image optimization library that supports more image formats and produces higher uh, quality images. Now, the thing is, if you select one of these, for example, if I select GD, you may realize that 
you are not getting the other image format enabled and if you select this one you get the other image format you know being able to be optimized or created on your website now depending on where you host it may be different but for me on my host right now this website is seated on cloudways by digital ocean so i'm able to have this php uh, extension installed and now here you're going to choose the optimization levels i left it on the default one but you can choose which one you want from right over here and here you have to choose the browser compatibility either to use the rewrite rule or to use the picture tag so in my case i use the rewrite rule which actually does load the webp and avi images by adding rewrite rules to the ht access file so if you don't know where the HD access file is located, it is in your public folder where WordPress is installed on your server. Again, if you don't know where to find it, you can still contact your host and they help you with this. But if this doesn't work with a kind of configuration with your server or your host, you can choose to use the picture tag. But again, I always advise that you better reach out to your host if you don't understand what is happening over here. Now here I chose that do not convert uh, png images and if you have any png images on your website please make sure that you check these boxes otherwise if you convert those webp images and they have transparency then you will not be able to see the transparency of those images once they are converted so please check that option if you want to remove the extra data from the images that you uploaded on your website that means the location the timestamps and all other data that is related to that photo you can make sure that you disable that information from being shared and basically that is all that you have to do from here in compress x and before we go any further i want to mention that as you have seen here in my media library i have the images already compressed so for instance i'll change this view and like you can see this image has already been compressed and this is the result we have a webp file and we have an AVIF file and these both have been you know compressed to about 50 percent of the original size but the question is where are these images stored now these images are stored in a specific compress x folder that is created on your wordpress website and that is where these pictures will be saved now once you delete compress x from your website you will no longer have the optimized images on your website. And I find that good because, hey, tomorrow, if you find another or better tool to use, or if you want to specifically see all where the compressed images are, or if you just want to see that your media library is clean and out of clutter, Compress X gives you that option. Just like you can see here, we only have our original images. And the thing is, if you delete Compress X, it will delete all the other converted images that it created on your website. And it will leave the original images there. And the other thing you have to know is that once Compress X realizes that it's making a conversion or a compression of an image and the outcome of the compression of the compressed image, I hope this makes sense. <laughs> That the outcome, if the, the, the result of the compressed image is bigger than the original image, it will automatically delete the compressed image, which is bigger than the original image. Because in this case, it doesn't make any sense. Now, how do you know that actually now Compress X is working on my website? So before I show you that, I just want to show you one image how Compress X works because once you add an image to your media library, so I'll come here to say add an image and then I'll say select images. Here is an image that I've added to my media library and automatically Compress X is going to convert this image once it's uploaded. And that is a setting that you can also enable on your website that, hey, please compress all newly uploaded images and this is where you do it when you come here to compress x settings you see that we have an option called enable it to convert the new uploaded images if you disable that of course it will not convert those images but i have it enabled and of course here you can say start bulk processing in case you have already images that are uploaded on your website or you just installed compress x on your website and 
you want to make sure that you you know process all the images on your website or on the server you just click over here and then it will start the compression process but now let's go back here to our media library to have a look at the image that we added this is the image right over here you can see it's a very wide image and we originally it was 350 kbs and that has been compressed to a webp file of 200 kbs and then we have an fvif image to 170 kbs this is about 51 percent of compression now the thing is if we add this photo to our you know pages in wordpress compress x is going to determine on who is visiting our website and which browser they are having and if that browser supports webp or avi images then it will serve the most appropriate format now let me show you here when i come here to my page i'm going to come to pages or pages i'm going to go to my let me say portfolio page yeah i think that would work so portfolio uh which is this exact page here yeah, and by the way, I'm using Gutenberg to build this entire project. And if you want to see the entire tutorial on how I created this website in Gutenberg and all the things, the steps, let me know down in the comment box below. I'm going to come here on the media uh, library and I'm going to come here to say the, edit the gallery. And I'll say add to gallery and I'll add this one image. I'll say add to gallery. I haven't yet added the alt text, the captions and everything because I wanted to make this quick video to show you what is happening and how you can also work with large images. Now I've added my image right over here and remember originally it was a JPG image. I'm going to save this page and I want to view this page. So this is like the same page here. So here is our image and you can see it is showing up really nice and clean. The question is, which image am I actually viewing at the moment? Is it the original image, the JPG image? Is it the WebP image? Is it the AVIF image that has been compressed on the website? Let's see that. Now, to check which images are being loaded, because right now my browser supports both WebP and AVIF images, I'm going to come over here to go and inspect the page and I'm going to come here to network and I'm going to first reload this page once again and I'll say reload so it will fetch everything and I will come here to images. So as you can see right over here on the front end, the browser is picking up the already compressed images from Compress X. And as you can see here, we already have my, this is the image that I just uploaded and right over here in the headers, in the header section, we can see that it is being loaded as an image and it's an AVIF image. And originally this is the image and the image URL and right over here it was a JPG image, but on the front end it is loading an AVIF, an AVIF image. And this is what you want basically, so that you have your original images, but then when the website visitor is you know, visiting your website, depending on which browser they are using, automatically Compress X is going to pick up the right format that is supported by their browser and it is shown up on your website. Now, let's look at other images. So we have this other image here. So when we look here in the headers, you can see that we have it as a JPG image and it is loading as an AVIF image. And one of the reasons why I'm really excited about this Compress X plugin is that I have been using another plugin on my own website to do website uh, to do image compression, and that plugin is called Converter for Media. But this plugin was only giving me in the free version just to convert to WebP images. And if I want to have the AVIF version, then I have to buy the pro version of this plugin. So let me just show you here on my archive page. I'm going to inspect this page and I'm going to come here to network. I'm going to reload this page. And I want to show you what it's doing at the moment. So as you can see, I have this image here. So it is this image 
that you're seeing at the moment, this thumbnail. Originally, it is a JPG image. That is the original image. And you see it is being served as a WebP image. And remember, my browser also supports the AVI image file format. But because this plugin doesn't allow me to convert images to AVI in the pre version, that's why you see that it only gives me to serve the WebP image file. And the thing is, AVI images are way lighter compared to WebP images. So I think my decision to try out the Compress X plugin is in the right direction. And I hope that I can pull this project off with little hassle because at the moment I don't have to do image resizing. I don't have to think about hey, how heavy is the image. All I just have to do is to drag images into the WordPress editor and everything is cared of. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, any comments, if you know, you know, any feedback regarding working on heavy uh, website images or heavy or photo heavy websites in WordPress, let me know down in the comment box below. If you are new here, make sure that you do all those things like subscribe and see you in the next video.